Ahoy hoy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do the chili cloth challenge. If you don't know what that is, um, it's basically this right here. Um, so chili cloth is out of Denmark and it's actually a challenge that's well known around Scandinavia. And you can get stuff from there that is low, like one, all the way up to 15, which is known as the wind force. <laughs> and the wind force is mentioned back here. And I can read it to you real quick. Zero is calm, you will feel nothing. One is light air, you still feel nothing. Two, light breeze, the full flavored chili with very little heat. Uh, three is gentle breeze, the full flavor chili without much heat. Four is moderate breeze, a bit more heat but in charming way. <laughs> Five, fresh breeze, a moderate heat combined with well-known chili flavor. Six, and I think this one, let's see which one. This one here is the six, the red one. Um... Because this one has 6, 9, 12, and 15 in it. So the lowest in this one is a 6. Um, and it says strong breeze. Um, often a lot of flavor. The chili starts to kick a bit. 7 is moderate wind. Striking heat, which creates more pleasure. 8 is high wind. Significant heat, which really kicks up the flavor. Now you start to experience what chili can do. Nine is strong wind. Now you feel the, now you really feel the flavor just before a freight train delivers a capsaicin straight to your ears. Ten full storm. Enjoy it as long as possible. A French electrical train is about to take you on a super ride. Eleven is a violent storm. If you're a newbie, you're lost. Your ears are on maximum sensitivity, and a bonfire is raging in your throat. Twelve hurricane. Only for connoisseurs, is that what it says? The flavor is fantastic, but the rent is due. Barbed wire in your mouth. 13, Typhoon, a face melter. Your face will melt, and the flavor must be enjoyed prior to being hit by a German steam engine. 14, Twister, if you've never given birth, here's your chance. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've given natural childbirth twice. <laughs> And 15, apocalypse. Anything can happen. Stay away from high places where you might consider throwing yourself from. Remember, you are loved. <laughs> um, so, as you guys know, I like spicy stuff. Um, I've done a few spicy challenges on my channel before. I think the last one was um, I tried chips that had like a ghost chili flavor to it. And I think I fared pretty well. And, I mean, keep in mind, I'm someone that goes through three jars of jalapenos per week. So, yeah. Sometimes I can go through a jar in a day. So, I'll explain why I can fare well with this stuff for the most part. So, let's get started with six. You know, this is the, um... This is the version that often a lot of flavor of the chili starts to kick a bit. This is this version. Um, so I have an army of things to soothe out the fire if it gets too much, especially when we get to 15. We have demo oat drink. It's vegan. And um, I usually drink this as a source of vitamin D and calcium as I'm lactose intolerant. Possibly have a milk soy protein intolerance too as I had issues with soy about a month ago. So, I drink this as a vitamins and stuff, since I'm also vitamin D deficient due to um, my asthma medicine, the course steroids in the asthma that's supposed to, in the asthma medicine that's supposed to prevent you from getting your asthma becoming worse, something like that. God, I'm tongue twisting, I'm nervous already. I don't know if this is going to be like the way it is with milk, um, where it would... It doesn't really help with the spiciness, but we'll see. 
I have to be back. I need to get some paper to wipe my nose just in case. I'm back. <laughs> Got this. Hopefully it's good. Um, here's a craft smoothie with also vitamin D, but it has banana in it. And bananas are said to help you with your stomach before you do spicy stuff. At least that's what Adam Rickman said when he did Man vs. Food. So just giving myself a little protection there. We also have cappuccino. <laughs> and finally, honey. I also learned on Man vs. Food um, when he tried that voodoo cheese sandwich, the chef told him that honey is very good at countering the heat a little bit. And it does work on some of them. Enough talk. Six. Level six. Now what's in here? That makes it spacey. Is it on here too? Not really. Okay, well, there's a shitload of chili powder in here. I know there's habanero in some. I think that might be in the nine. And I have, I actually got a chili set for my birthday for my significant other. And I had the number nine hot sauce that had like duca chili and something in it and then there's a habanero barbecue that i like so this is number six <laughs> some power just got in my throat <laughs> Yeah, this is a gentle burn. It's gentle. Yeah, this is still in the throat area. <clears throat> it's a sandwich. Chilies are in here. Oh well. <clears throat> That's six. Now we go up to nine. <laughs> A tinder burn. Significant so heat. A freight train delivers the capsaicin straight to your ears. Yay! So far, I just feel it in my throat. Yeah, I guess if you're sick, these are good things to eat. <laughs> This might be the one that has carbonara on it. I'm not sure. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I need to take a drink. It's mostly in my throat. Mm. <sighs> I could be feeling my airways <laughs> clearing out too. All right, number nine. <clears throat> a tinder burn. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you feel it on your tongue immediately. Oh my god. If I remember correctly from the nine hot sauce that I got in my little chili gift set, 
if I remember correctly, it has like ghost chili or something in it. Maybe it's also hibernara or something, but the burn is more immediate in this than in this. It definitely goes, it's slightly on your tongue and goes straight to your throat. Ugh. I'm going to take the liquor out. <laughs> That, that's gonna be like, oh, she rather have that hot stuff than the licorice. Yeah, I just don't, I just don't like the texture. I probably eat it when the camera's off. Now, interesting is, I'm gonna add just now. I ate the chocolate part towards my tongue. Didn't get the burn yet. I'm not going to be left with the other two. The other two, I have my daughter's fluffy rabbit. Squeeze. Now I just got the burn again. Yeah. <sighs> okay, I got this whole entire thing out with me. Let me just get the... Whew. The nine reminds me if I've had jalapenos too much. Usually almost a whole entire jar. <laughs> the funny thing is, I was planning on having nachos today with jalapenos. <laughs> That's what it's like right now. Ready for 12. I mean, things are still burning, but they're going to burn. And I just feel it's like a band aid to rip off, basically. And this is, I think, a 12, yeah. The flavor is fantastic, but the rent in your rent is due. Barbed wire in your mouth. An intense burn. I don't know which one exactly is in this one. Let me check real quick what the things are. Oh, give me a sec. I'm back. So, in the first one, there was just chili powder. This one had habanero. Oh, no. I'm, yeah. And 12 and 15 have the Carolina Reaper in it. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, I've, I've actually, my mouth has cooled down slightly since I was looking up what kind of chili I use. This is a new 12. Fuck. <laughs> I'm nervous now. <sighs> I should just take a quick jinky before I begin. Oh, that's nice. Sash. Okay. Here we go, yeah, guys. 12, and I think Carolina Reaper's in this. I don't know how much, and possibly Habanero at the same time. I'm holding on to this, and I can feel my fingers burning just slightly. So, here we go. There it is. It's not immediate. Even when you take a bite in it, it's not immediate. It comes on gradually. It's like someone putting layer fluid on your tongue and setting it on fire. All right, let me get this. Licorice out of here. <laughs> People are like, you'd rather have the chili. Mm hmm. Not that I don't like licorice, but I don't like licorice in my chocolate balls. All right. I'm just going to do this. Get over here. It's 
more spicy this time. <laughs> it feels like someone has set my fire, my mouth on fire. Mm. I do that too and I eat too much jalapenos. Mm. And if I remember correctly, the Carolina Reaper is at 2 million Scoville units or something. Let's have some money this time. It's working a little bit. <laughs> My lips are burning too. And when I breathe out, I can feel the heat coming out of my nose. Okay. <sighs> it's mostly it's mostly on my lips now. It started on your tongue and then it expands out somehow. I'm beginning to understand where dragons get their firepower from. Okay. I think I'm good enough to continue now. The last one. 15. Anything can happen. Remember you are loved. And I think this might have a little bit more Carolina Reaper in it than the last one. <sighs> Well, the good thing is with this stuff, it's clearing out my lungs and my sinuses. And if you have a sore throat, well, I don't think you're going to have a sore throat after this. Any sicky around is going to be too hot to handle this shit. And I got my support bunny next to me just in case. Ooh, I'm so nervous all of a sudden. I, for a long time, I'm like, oh, I'm going to try this stuff so much. In case I cry. <laughs> I don't think I'll cry, but uh, you can see specks in this thing and it look a little bit angry. I can I mean if you can see it or not, if the camera's not being so freaking blurry. Alright, y'all. Here we go. <laughs> I'm scared now. A little bit more immediate than the yellow one. Yeah. Mm. 
It was more immediate. This is probably the first one. It's making my nose run compared to the others. Which means that my body has gotten so used to the level 12 that my nose does not run. Because I eat that much jalapenos. And hot, and hot sauce. My eyes are even becoming a little bit cherry now. As we are, that was a dragon I'd be blowing out fire right now. And this is so crazy. Like, with the Carolina Reaper, at least in what I'm experiencing right now, it's like, it starts at the back of your mouth, on your tongue mostly, and it just feels like expanding outward, like you're, like you're breathing fire. And as you can see, this shit's kicking my ass more than the other three did. I mean, is this one? No, it's fine. Number twelve. This one here. This one here has a little bit of Carolina Reaper in it, but it, it it doesn't have as much as the fifteen does. So I think there's a little bit in this one. There is definitely a lot in this one. Because with the 12, at least, there was a brief moment where there was nothing at first, and then it just hit you. This is immediate. Um, and this is the only one that has made my nose run, has making my eyes water, and I feel like I'm breathing out fire right now. But at the same time, there's an interesting warmthness going down my lungs right now. And while I'm sure if you ate the whole pepper of the Carolina Reaper, and I think even the chocolate Reaper, which is a hybrid, which is <coughs> more, more, more hotter than the initial Reaper, um... <laughs> I'm, it's so hot, I, I just lost my train of thought. Let me drink some more. <clears throat> I didn't remember what I was saying. Um, the... I would imagine the pepper would be... If you ate the pepper on its own, it would be more explosive than this in a way. Um, because you're only just getting the chili powder that's made from it. Whereas I think if I ate the actual pepper with the seeds and all, it would be a different story. But there's a new sensation now. Like, it, it starts off on your tongue, and it's immediate, like I said. And then it goes outward, and then it's like it goes back down your mouth towards your throat and then down here. Is it's going down my throat now. The heat. Um, and the thing is, at first it was a little bit pleasant getting a little warmth because, like, you know, when you have asthma like I do, you know I have a mild case of it, you know, it kind of relaxes it sometimes and, you know, opening up the airways even more. But, yeah, um... Or is it making me cough? I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Let me have more to drink. 
and it's feeling fluffy in my hands I'm squeezing. Now, I think one of the reasons why I'm handling this fairly well compared to most people is because I do eat a lot of spicy stuff. Like I said, I can go to two, three jars of jalapenos per week. Sometimes it might even be one jar in a day. Um, of course, it doesn't have the same heat as this thing does. Um, but, yeah, and... People are like, oh, how can you do these challenges like this? As well as, you handle surf strumming quite well. I don't know. I mean, I do have a mental disorder that I'm not ready to go into yet of what it is exactly, but it could be hindering some stuff. But I don't know because my brother doesn't have that and he was able to do surf strumming as well. I think it's because maybe we accidentally drank or actually in, um, Swallowed some salt water, which kind of, which is almost like the way stew strumming is in a way. But I don't know. I mean, it is affecting me, as you can see. <clears throat> but, you know, I think my tolerance to, to hot stuff is fairly high. I mean, I feel like I'm addicted to it, at least with jalapenos. Uh, there's some hot sauce I am addicted to as well. Things begin to go away now, just slightly. Like the heat isn't on my lips as it was, and it's still lingering on my tongue, but not as bad as it was before. And the heat that I felt in my throat in my chest has gone away now. I'm not sure it's because of what I'm drinking, but it seems to be easing up. So if you're having trouble doing this. I could suggest drinking a smoothie, drinking oat milk, at least oat milk for me. I'm drinking, you know, I don't know about coffee. I mean, it it was an interesting flavor, though, between the chili, the chocolate, and the coffee. I mean, it's not a pleasant flavor, so I mean, I do, they do complement each other quite well. Um, let me try some honey. Um, yeah, the honey's getting to help, too. I, I still feel my nose wanting to run, and my eyes are not watering anymore. But, I need to sneeze. I feel the sensation of the sneeze now. But, yeah, um, anyway, I know chili class is not known much in, outside of Scandinavia. I mean, unless you watch Hot Ones from How We Feast, or that has Sean Evans. Because, you know, he's been on, Chili Klaus has been on that show a few times. And, in fact, right now, I think the last dab sauce they used is actually from Chili Klaus. That is probably a level 15. So, yeah, because there's loads of Carolina Reaper in there. Um... And stuff like that. I'm still looking at what's in here, but yeah, okay. So yeah, if you like this video, smash like the like button. If you subscribe, I'll be absolutely happy. And I see you guys later. Cheers.